Henry V is the best rally commander in Rise of Kingdoms, and he also performs shockingly well on the open field. Today I'll be giving you an in-depth guide on Henry. I'll go over talents, skills, equipments, pairings, and if you should even consider investing in him. So if you were interested in Henry V, stick around till the end of this video to get the most value that you can. Starting off, Henry's active skill is 2300 damage factor to one target. Then after that he gains a buff which reduces his skill damage taken by 30% for 5 seconds. Now I really do like this active skill, purely because skill damage taken is a major part of this current meta. Everyone wants to deal as much skill damage as they can. So if you're taking reduced skill damage you're going to be way more tanky on the open field and then obviously you're going to trade better. He also has extremely high damage factor, same damage factor as Boudicca Prime, the best archer commander in the game. Henry's second skill, increase archer attack by 20% and defense by 20%. When he's off territory, he also gains 20% increased march speed. I also really like this. I like the defense a lot. It makes you even more tanky. And then having the attack is just a nice bonus. And I also really like march speed outside of territory because it applies to things such as Canyon or Champions of Olympia, or obviously when you're fighting outside of Alliance territory. So it does allow you to get away much easier. Third skill is a rally skill. When attacking strongholds and governor cities, troops deal 25% more counterattack damage and have a 10% chance to increase skill damage taken by the target by 30% for 3 seconds. This effect triggers once every 5 seconds. So that's really nice. I think that's a powerful debuff to be putting on the opponent, especially if you can you can stack Boudicca's debuff on top of it. So I do like that. And then increasing your counterattack damage is also extremely good because when people are swarming you, if you increase your counterattack, you're going to be basically wrecking them. Fourth skill, archers led by this commander deal 10% more all damage. And when attacked, there's a 10% chance to deal 800 di direct damage factor to the target. This effect triggers once every five seconds. So I like the all damage, it's just pure stats right there. So that's really powerful. And then the chance to deal direct damage factor to the target that's hitting you is even more powerful, it's nice revenge damage. It's not revenge AoE like Cyrus or Amanatori, but it's still very powerful revenge damage. And then his expertise, when a troop's rage reaches 70%, they deal 30% more normal attack. Otherwise, they take 20% less normal attack damage. I actually do really like this expertise as well. The normal attack you gain here is really good, especially when you reach above 70% rage. And then just taking 20% less normal attack damage otherwise, is also amazing. So here you're basically gaining about 25% permanent stats on average if you even it out. So out of all of his skills, I think Henry V's most important skills, definitely his primary skill and definitely his second skill. These two skills are really important if you're looking at open field. I think that this alone is a very powerful like commander at 5511. Then you've got the third skill. This is rally only. I got unfortunate and I upgraded that skill four times when I would have rathered it land on the last skill, which is also field. And you deal 10% more all damage, which is really nice, and I like the revenge damage. But I still think having the first two skills maxed will benefit you more than maxing the final skill. And also, I do like Henry's expertise, so I do think he is arguably worth it for that more normal attack and taking that less normal attack damage. So I do really like that about Henry. Now, talent tree for Henry. I recommend just really going all in on the archer tree. I go here to get some more Rage from Razor Sharp, but I didn't end up maxing it because I always want to get Buckler Shield, and I do really think Buckler Shield's like one of the best talents in the whole game, probably on par with Rejuvenate. Then of course I went up for Phoenix Whistling Arrow, sorry, because this is just free all damage and who can complain. I did go for 3 out of 3 on Rejuvenate, but you probably should just go 2 out of 3 on Rejuvenate so you don't over Rage, but I mean, my Henry is behind... I mean, he's behind a YSG, but he doesn't have a horn. So I do, I don't mind having the third rejuvenate point there. Or rally, I think this is really much the same. So, I mean, there's not much I would change if you're going for a rally talent here. I think that really this is probably his only and his best talent tree. Now, what pairs would I recommend for Henry? So first off, his best pair is Henry Isong. I think YSG with Henry is very powerful. YSG's got the AoE, he's got the increased skill damage, he's got the rage that Henry needs. And as such, when Henry's tanking for YSG, 
First of all, if you're on the open field, they're going to see a little Henry emblem. And Henry's not very desirable to hit because he has that revenge damage and he's very tanky. So having a YSG behind him means you can hide your YSG and get that value from YSG's area of effect damage. So I do really like that pair. Another pair I like is actually Henry and Cyrus. Once again, Cyrus is a bit of a fragile commander. But if you have a Henry in front, you're going to be tanking more. And also, I like Cyrus's revenge damage as well. So if you get hit with a Cyrus and a Henry, the amount of revenge damage you're going to deal is going to be a little bit insane. Also, Cyrus has a lot of single target damage and also has more march speed on top of that. So you'll be able to get away from a lot of battles if you're using Henry with Cyrus and you get caught out in the open field. And then the other pair I really like is Henry with Nebu. I like Nebu's AoE, same reason for YSG, and Nebu also has march speed, same reason as Cyrus. I also don't mind the extra all damage that Nebu provides, and I like the rage reduction, so if you already have a Nebu max, then yes, that's also an option. A really powerful single target damage combo with Henry is Henry with Boudicca, obviously. Arguably the best combo now if you don't really care about getting area of effect damage, but if you're looking into like area of effect and dealing more damage, it's not the best, but by single target damage, it's absolutely insane. So if you know it's going to be a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles in the field, then you may be considering a Henry and Boudicca, and I think that's perfectly reasonable. Rallying with Henry, there's a few combos. So obviously Henry with Nebu is still an amazing rally. Nebu's got a lot of counter attack. He's also got revenge damage, and he reduces their march speed as like a bonus, I guess. Also, Nebu's got AoE, so he's going to be hitting a bunch of targets. And Nebu's still really a good rally commander. Then there's Henry and Gilgamesh. So if you're rallying into a Zenobia, Henry and Gilgamesh is really, really powerful. Gilgamesh's rally skill isn't amazing, but his health debuff is great, and also he's very tanky, plus he also has that debuff onto Zenobia Garrisons, which is very powerful. And then the final rally combo I would consider is Henry with Boudicca. Boudicca is just so powerful that she also works as a rally. I personally used this when I rallied like a few cities, and the trades are pretty nice. I'll show you some reports now. You can see here, like, I wasn't max tech, I pretty much slacked off this whole KVK on tech, and I gave, like, way more deads. Well, I didn't give more deads, but I gave a load of sevs. And then someone else rallied after that, and their city basically just was completely zeroed. So they were destroyed from this rally because they had a Zenobia. I did wish my Gilgamesh was a bit higher, but Boudicca and Henry, and my Henry was like five, yeah, five, five, one, three at this point. So you can see I did use a few skill resets. I got unlucky, but the power of this rally alone, even at level one, was amazing, and I think that it's just such a powerful rally. Now, equipment for Henry is, of course, a bit like the other commanders. For accessories, I do recommend Ring of Doom. Ring of Doom is very powerful on any commander, regardless of if they're open rally, field, so open rally, garrison, fielding, anything really. Ring of Doom is still a very powerful accessory, and I think this doesn't really change for Henry. And then I also do like the Horn of Fury, purely because Horn of Fury is giving Henry extra rage. Now, if you're using Henry with Tamiris, which isn't a bad combo, then just don't get Horn of Fury. But then again, the other combos I mentioned are probably stronger for Henry and stronger for your murder ball overall. You could consider, since if you're, if you're going with like a Henry and a Cyrus or a Hen Henry and a Nebu, you're going to be quite fast, so you could consider Concealed Dagger or Mora's Web, since you'll be able to hit the opponents quite quickly if you're using either of those combos I just mentioned. Epic Accessories, much the same. I don't think you need Call of the Loyal with Henry, so I think you'd be better off with Silent Trial and Delane's Amulet. And then just, if you can only pick one of them, of course, go Silent Trial, and then just put Call of the Loyal on Henry. Normal equipment, much the same as well. Either four pieces from the Dragon Breath set, the bow, the chest plate, the pants, and the gloves, or you just go with a full Dragon Breath or full Epic set. Either one works. Henry is a Mightiest Governor Commander. He can also be gained from the Team Draw event. You can see he's here for me. However, you have to unlock him already to do that. Another way to get Henry is through the Uratark Tavern. You can select him there and you can unlock a Henry there as well. Now, what is my final verdict for free-to-play low spenders on Henry V? I think currently he is actually a very underrated commander. I used him extensively in the open field last KVK as my second march. He was tanky. Even if he got swarmed, the trade wasn't that bad. He dealt high damage with YSG as the secondary. So I think Henry on the open field is actually very good. And I think if you're going for two archer marchers, he's actually a commander you should be considering. Now though, with the news of new archer commanders coming out very soon, I think it's best we just wait and see what comes out next. Because the one thing I don't like about Henry is he's basically just pure damage. So if you're going to be investing in him, you have to keep in mind 
there is a good chance he will become less powerful as time goes on because power creep with commanders is not going to stop anytime soon. So make sure you keep that in mind before you invest in Henry, especially as a free-to-play. He is quite a cheap investment though. You could go with a 5511 Henry and you'll be doing fine. I'm basically using him at 5511 and he's kind of just crushing. If you're rallying, he's obviously the meta rally right now, so he's definitely worth it. Other than that, really, Henry's just a powerful commander. Now, if you're interested in any of the other commanders, I've made guides for every single commander beside Boudicca at this point. So if you want to check that out, card will be on the end screen. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.